leaders, and this is such a hard seed topic for me because God is the ultimate leader maker. He takes those who are small and weak in their own eyes and he empowers them and to accomplish all of his great purposes for your life. You know, in Exodus 33, verse 12 to 13, the Bible says, Moses said to the Lord, you have been telling me, lead these people, but you have not let me know whom you will send with me. Ever felt like that? Mm. You have said, I know you by name and you have found favor with me. If you are pleased with me, teach me your ways so I may know you and continue to find favor with you. Remember that this nation is your people. And this is such a heartsy scripture. Moses cared about the people. He had an unconditional love. We can look at Moses as, I don't want to leave these people. But he did. He had the heart. And this heart, I believe, is the heart of our mother in the faith, Michelle Williamson. I remember the first time when I arrived almost seven years ago, Michelle, the first thing she's like, I love being a mom. And she does. She loves being a mom. And you have to be a great mom to the campus students if you want to raise up great leaders in the movement of God. And that is what Michelle has done. She has raised up many leaders. And Moses was praying, give me somebody with me. And in this weekend, Michelle has raised up so many women's ministry leaders. And Michelle never gives up on anybody. She will keep giving her heart. My sisters, do you have boundaries in your heart with your sisters in your ministry? Because building up leadership means that you don't have boundaries. You're not blocking your love for these people, these women who you want to raise up to do amazing things. You know, I am not a mom. I've had miscarriages and I'm unable to conceive naturally. But God has blessed me with many amazing daughters in the Paris church. I have a relationship with every single one of them, and they are amazing leaders. You know, I love Joshua and Moses' relationship. Study it out. I was emotional by the relationship. Moses prayed, and God answered. He gave him a personal assistant. In the Hebrew, that's what Joshua means. You know, Joshua, Moses probably didn't even realize it, but Joshua was inspired by Moses' life. He would stay outside the tent just watching Moses worship God. He went up to the mountain with Moses. He followed the Lord wholeheartedly because of Moses. He, he had a spirit of leadership because he imitated Moses. And what's so powerful is that he was chosen to finish the work. Just imagine the torn between Moses and Joshua. When Moses had to say, you're going to lead the people to the promised land without me. I remember being torn from Michelle coming back to Paris. She came to the Eurostar to say goodbye. And I was just, I'm leaving mom. Now I have to become a mom. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I prayed for years that God would give me a Joshua, and he has provided many. But I want to talk about a specific sister who's got immense persecution. She got kicked out of her house. She's gotten death threats. She's had a lot of pain, and she had to move in with us and live with us. And I remember sitting at my kitchen table and she's crying and I go, you know what? Let's imagine when you're going to get appointed women's ministry leader that you stood up for Christ and you gave your whole heart no matter the cost because you love Jesus more than this persecution. You love Jesus more than anything. And you, my dear, are going to be an amazing women's ministry leader in France. And that's Yasmin. <laughs> And don't stop praying for the Joshua in your life. 
You know, there's a, I like to share this to close out. A leader takes people where they want to go. A great leader takes people where they don't necessarily want to go, but ought to be. I love you all. To God be the glory.